Hey guys, Eileen Vick here for Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. It is Saturday, January 16th at 7 p.m. Well, 7.10 actually. <laughs> and I am live with Teaching Adult Coloring with Eileen Vick. Come on in. Fall in the door, get warmed up, <clears throat> depending on where you are. <laughs> It's cold where I am. Good grief, it's 36 degrees. Hi, Summer, welcome. Oh, good to see everybody. Let's see what we got here. I hope everybody is doing as well as I feel. I feel good. I feel good. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, you can see what kind of mood I'm in tonight. My hands are absolutely freezing cold. Oh my gosh, good grief. Ooh. All right, let's see. Let me try and warm up my hands here a little bit. I hope you guys had a good time last night. Hi, Mary. When we did our little dancing girl. You guys have really taken to her. She's such a cute project to do. This is my second version of her that I've done. I don't know what it is about this particular one. It's just so stinking cute. I love doing it. I saw that little thumb go up, Dawn. How are you? All right. Let me see here. Checking out a couple things while you guys are getting comfortable. Cindy, all right, we got you in here. All right, announcements. Let me stick to one, some kind of protocol here. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Don't forget that we have our grayscale contest, guys. We've got two babies to color from that Don was nice enough to give us, Don Boyer. Hello, Stephanie. Come on in. And that is due Sunday at 12 midnight Central Standard Time. Just figure out the time difference, and if you're not sure, ask Siri. She'll tell you. <laughs> All right, I've also got a guest artist coming in. I'll give you the details on that later. It'll be Saturday that she'll be here. Gladys, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> she'll be here Saturday night at 7 p.m. Central. All sorts of nice things happening. All right, and I think what I'm going to be doing, don't have a heart attack, guys. <laughs> I'm 
going to be coloring out a wild soul tonight. I think we need to get that one going. We'll have lots of fun with that. This was gifted to the group. So I am really happy. This is a beautiful piece to do as well. I'll do one or the other. We'll get one here. Okay. So let me go over a couple of things and then we'll get going on Wild Soul. All right. So I was um, swatching my markers, having fun with that. <clears throat> and these are my Cali Arts. I'll be doing those. I'm going to be cleaning this up, but right now I've got, I'm going to put them in alphabetical order. And then I've got them swatching here. So that's always helpful. For example, when I like to see a really good red, I can see that very quickly. <clears throat> I'm not big on swatching. I don't do it with my pencils. Sandra. Hi, sweetie. The UK contingents get his here. So, these are my Cali Arts out of order. Remember, these are alcohol-based. All right. Then I did my Ohuhus when I found out that one was missing. Sandra, you know I love having you here. I know it's like 3 in the morning for you. Zoom in. So I've got my Ohuhus. <clears throat> I still have that one missing. Ohuhu and I are discussing it. No biggie. Hopefully we'll get that settled. I'm sure they'll take care of it for me. Now, what I wanted to show you... This is cardstock, by the way, and I've got my little notebook here that's my information of stuff. And so here's my swatches for my tan, <coughs> tan mat. Now, what I wanted to show you, tan mat does not have their pieces numbered. Zoom in. So what I did is I went ahead and I took a permanent marker and Lila, Helen, welcome. And I took a marker and I put the number on there. Whoops, I got the 22 next to each other. But see, I did it on two sides. And I put the number <coughs> on the end that I don't use a lot. <coughs> Dang, which is my teeny tiny end. But the thing I wanted to show you is I also took cellophane <coughs> tape and I taped around, I taped right over that number. So that's not going to rub off. Everybody see that? So it's a little clunky to have to do it this way. Hi, Virginia. Welcome. Hello, Pat. Welcome. So I went ahead and numbered these little puppies, and then I, I put them in color order, more or less. So I've got my matching number, and then if I need like a deep color, like a deep red, I know where it is. Zoom out, and I can go ahead and get it. Now, something that I did with my Ohuhus nope, Kelly Art, is I tend to use the brush end more than I do the chisel end. That might change, I don't know. But what I did is they don't mark their um, pens very well. It's a little hard to see which is which because unlike, here, let me show you. Unlike uh, Tanman, who has the darker image on their pen which really makes sense right and ohuhu does the same thing 
right? They put the little darker thingy on there. Okay, Cali Art doesn't do that. So I put a little green around the top, around the end that I tend not to use. And it doesn't really matter. You can pick an end. I don't care. But see, I know this is the chisel end, and I know this is my brush end that I like. And again, I put tape around there. So it works. We're not in a beauty contest here. All right, so there's my tan mitts. And my Cali Arts, I'll straighten those out. And then on my coloring gold, and you might want to take a screenshot of this. I've been showing you guys how to do that. Zoom in. Zoom in. There we go. Um, these are my PCs, Prismacolor. These are the colors that I use. And if I don't have Prismacolor, because I don't sort my pencils by, by brand, I do it by color, you can match it to this. Then I put together, zoom out. I've got this page of all my basic colors that go well together. I also posted an article for you that you can print out. Excellent article. And I also posted an online tool that lets you move the little thingy around the color wheel to help you pick colors. Shelly, hello. Now, if I miss saying hello to anybody, say hello again and I will get you. I want you guys to feel welcome in here. Hi, Melissa. I'm never too busy to say that I can't say hello to somebody. All right. These are my balloons that I did for you. So I did a little page of that, playing around with it. And then this is my second page here. I mean, once I see something, it gives me ideas of how to do it. And I'm going to do a page on doing pearls, because I've done pearls for you. Very straightforward to do. And then these are my Distress Ink swatches, which I haven't really done too much with, but sometime I will. So these are the colors that I have. I'm not super hyped on Distress Ink. It's just not something that floats my boat. But hey, you know, I got them. So I'll play with it at some point. And um, then I went through, zoom in. More for you guys. And I went ahead and I put a list of all the pencils that I have. So if you want to do a screenshot of that, fine. You can do that. Totally up to you. Now, just because I have them doesn't mean that you, you know, should run out and get them. But these are just brands that I use. So anyway, that's my little notebook. I wanted to show you the, this. <clears throat> I've got a three-hole punch, so, you know, I have my reinforcements here that I put on the pages, and that works really great. So, yeah. Fun stuff. I love it. I love you guys. <laughs> oh, you guys can tell what kind of mood I'm in. Be careful. Okay. So let me do a little more on, on this little lady. I did the balloon. I did some clouds for you. Good times. <sighs> Anybody have any questions or comments about what I'm showing you? All right. Da, 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 da.
I'm excited to color in Wild Soul. Um, cardstock. Let me get my package, Lila, and I'll show you. Jody, welcome. Oh, Mary, that red truck was beautiful. This is um, hard stock that I get from Walmart. It's called Image Plus. I don't know if they still carry it, but the weight is 100 and, 110. So that's what I've been using. I'm happy with it. It works. You need to try different card stocks for yourself and see what works and make sure it'll go through your printer, guys. But this is what I use. Yeah, that red truck, I had a I really enjoyed seeing that. Let's see here. Jody, you doing okay? Welcome. So, that's what I use. Walmart here in the United States. Whoop! Extra paper. Hold on. So let's play with this balloon a little bit. You're welcome, Lila. And by the way, if you ask me a question and I don't answer it that you understand, tell me. This is a give and take. This is why we do this room, right? This is why I'm live. Otherwise, like I always say, I could be doing YouTube. This is our time to chat and enjoy each other's company. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, you got to watch it, Virginia, with the printers. It just is, it just is going to be what fits your printer, honestly. All right. So I'm going to ink in this balloon because I promised you I would finish this. Yeah, you know, once you find your card, card stock, stick with it until they take it away. <laughs> okay, zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. All right. Hello, Rachel. So you guys asked me to draw a balloon around her, or carrying a balloon. So I drew one with it tied around her wrist. So let me go ahead and ink that in. Oh, too cute. Let's get focus here. And don't forget, you do it in pencil first and you play with it. Oh, you did her hair today. Virginia, how to come out? Did you like it? All right. So, 
Sandra, by the way. Oh, it's posted. I like it. You made her a redhead. Okay, cool. Okay, Rachel, what you need to do about that is look up the instructions to your printer. And see what cardstock weight it'll take. Oh, I know you guys are doing a great job on those cards on the uh, grayscale babies. Zoom out. Okay, now I gotta let that ink dry before I try to erase it the pencil around it. And guys, what I would suggest to you is play around with this image, print out two or three on cardstock or regular paper, and practice on different portions. <clears throat> In other words, you don't have to necessarily finish the whole thing. But practice. Practice on the dress. Practice your marker on the dress. Practice your pencil on the dress. Then throw it away and do a new one. Get a new one. Anne of Green Grables. Hmm, trees maybe? Okay, so that balloon, zoom out, zoom out. Hmm. I don't know, who has a suggestion about what can be added on <clears throat> the background to make it like Anne of Green Gables? Now, guys, if you aren't good at drawing, so what? Let's see here. Yeah. Lighthouse, lighthouse and seagrass. Well, there you go. And by the way, let me show you something about images, guys. Heads up on this. Watch. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. Zoom in. Kim, welcome. Okay, Virginia. Here's what you do. So you go to Google. And we're going to do a search here. Watch this. Hmm. So I'm going to type in line art. Everybody see this? Lighthouse. Search. 
Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can get you a good image. Zoom out. Can you guys see that? And then I'm going to go to images. Everybody see that? So there's a nice little drawing of a lighthouse. Now be very careful of copyright, but you could um, emulate that. Everybody see? So let's say you wanted to draw a lighthouse in the back. There you go. That would be how you would do it. Now the key to this is if you do the search on line art, you can always see simple images of stuff. Here's some really simple images of sailboats, for example. Let's see what comes up. Yeah, put a lighthouse in the background. Now, I'm not saying copy it directly, right? I'm just saying use it for ideas. There's a little sailboat. There's a compass. Does that help? All right. Hopefully that helps somebody. All right. And then what I would do is I would do a regular picture, just search lighthouses as a regular picture and see how they're colored. Zoom in. All right, let's see if I can do this without killing the bow. I am not a sketch artist, guys. This is how I get my ideas. Use your imagination. Now look at this. For the bow, I just did three, one, two, three simple lines. All right. All right, so let's get this. I don't know what that black line is on this page. I don't know why it printed out, but it did, so we deal with it. I'm a fun artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> oh, too old about drawing back. <laughs> yes, guys, Google is your friend. And like I said, do a search online art, right? All right. So then I'm going to take my trusty eraser. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm thinking back to my days of art school and high school. See, all, those, all that time we went kicking and screaming as to why do we have to take these classes? And here we are now doing it in adult coloring. All our art teachers are laughing now and having revenge on us. Oh, 
Okay. Anybody else remember art class in high school? Oh, you never had art classes, Lila? Yeah. Zoom out. Now, remember I was showing you my brush that I had the other day that you guys were asking about? That's what this is for. You don't want to be rubbing your hand. You feel cheated. <laughs> All right. Your stick man looks bad. <laughs> Zoom in. Hold on, I gotta quit laughing for a minute because I'm drawing. I had short shorthand, and do I remember any of it? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's not too bad of a bow. And when I color it in, I'll... It, it'll color over all my little mistakes. Okay, hold on. I gotta outline my balloon again. That's not too bad. Zoom out. Zoom out. It's on video, Virginia. Okay. Now, I'm going to, I got to put back my little movement lines here, right? Everybody sees that. And let's see. Which also reminds me, I've got movement lines down here by her feet and her hair. Hmm. All right. Zoom out. Oh, man. How cute. Now, I know that we've been laughing through this, guys. But listen. Look. Look. I mean, really look. Look how cool we put a little ribbon in here. A bow. Right? If you can draw a circle with a little doohickey at the bottom and a line... Right? Honestly, if I... Hold on. If I had thought about it, 
I'm going to get my little reference book out. I could have, this is hindsight being 2020. I could have gone through and just done the balloon without drawing it, but that's okay. Next time. You know, the whole thing is line art. Right? See our balloon here? So, that's for next time. All right. So, let me go ahead, zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. I think I'm going to do an orange balloon. So I'm just going to take my finger. And chalk that up. I really am kicking myself for not real, you know, thinking about that. And it's so funny because I just did it. So, darken that chalk a little bit on the left hand side. We have it lighter on the right. We've got a little white spot in the center. I mean, look how ridiculously easy, guys, right? And then I take a little, slightly little darker orange and just put a little um, C on there, right there. See that? Anybody have any questions about that? And I went outside a little bit, so grab your eraser and clean that up. Look how cool that looks, guys. Oh, my drawn balloon fits well. Yeah, and it does, because this whole thing suggested a drawing. You're right. Don't forget to erase the pencil. You know, these movement lines that I put on here, erase your pencil underneath. All right, so that balloon took two seconds. Yeah, Sandra says it looks better too. Yeah, that's cool. Now, how difficult was this to do this balloon? Like, not at all, right? And if you want to now, you can take an orange pencil. Let me rest on some paper. And you can go ahead and color in. Now look, see how I'm doing that? Hopefully this is showing, yeah. Everybody see how that line's coming in there? I'm doing repeated strokes on this one part of the balloon. Look at the dimension that it's coming up. Let me, let me know that you guys see this. See that right here? So that's really making, I wanna say that balloon pop. I made it funny. 
Yeah, baby wipes are great for that. All right. Too cute. So let me put my chalks away before I get my hands in it. You know how that goes. Zoom out. And actually you guys are absolutely right is drawing in the balloon fits the fits what we're doing with this whole image. So we're good. Hello, Sue. All right, let's get this bow done, and then I'm going to go on, on to uh, Wild Soul. Zoom in. So I'm going to put a base color of pink here, bear with me, oh I forgot something on my balloon guys, hold on, hi Sue, All right, so here's my Arteza white pen. There we go. Don't forget that. Now I'm going to come in with my red. So I'm going to pick my high point of my ribbon, which is right here. And remember how I told you when you're bringing in a color, always have a ragged end. Zoom in. Zoom in. Don't end it straight across. Check it out, guys. Do you see how I'm doing this?
And then I'm going to grab my white pencil and I'm going to blend and I'm concentrating on the center section and in a little bit. I don't want to go too far in because I don't want to lose that bright red. Everybody see how this is coming out now? Zoom out, zoom out, Zoom in, zoom in. Now, I need you to really watch this. I'm taking a very red marker and I'm putting it on top of this pencil. Now, everything I'm reading, everybody says, no, 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 you can't use marker on top of pencil. Yes, you can. And I want you to see how I'm doing this, is I'm putting it on there and then I'm just touching it a little bit with my finger to, to blend it in there. The reason this works is because the marker is on top of the pencil, which is your slick surface. Everybody see that? It's a really neat effect. So you're going to get red marker all over yourself. But so what? Everybody see this? Oh man, look at that. So we're getting all kinds of stories that you can't really blend marker. If you do it this way, yes, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> and then you take your electric eraser. If you're a little bit over the edge, which I am, just clean it off. There you go. The pencil underneath neath is what allows you to blend your marker. Oh yeah, Virginia, exactly. Zoom out. Zoom out. All right, what do you think, guys? Woohoo! I'm happy with it. Can you tell? And remember, when I first went in, I sprayed this with the Krylon spray. And that kept my marker from streaking. So, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. I think we got a good do on this one.
So again, you want to spray your piece first with your Krylon spray to keep your marker even. Then you do all your work and then you spray it again. Hold on while I spray this. All right, there we go. And I'll turn the fan on in my studio. You guys happy with that? Oh, bump the camera. And that's exactly right, Virginia. I want you guys to print out multiple copies on your cardstock and play with this. This is perfect to do that because we, we are free to do that. You know, just do one where you color the hair, or just do one where you color the dress. Experiment with it. Put a background in there, put a lighthouse in the background, right? Yeah, I spray it indoors. Ventilated area, Kim. I've never had any problem. I've sprayed that stuff indoors for years, but make sure you got a fan. Really, I go out to a different room to do it. So, yeah. All right. Anybody have any questions or comments or whatever? Again, I don't know why that black line is there, but it is. It is what it is. You know, just be careful with it, Kim, when you spray. It's a chemical. All right. So let me go ahead and put my mark on this. All right, she's official. She's got my mark on her. <laughs> oh, man, I love doing this project with you guys. And I'll tell you what, what I'd really like to see. Oh, yeah, if, exactly. What Sandra's saying, asthmatic. Any breathing issues, coped? I mean, don't, yeah, exactly. I would like to see you guys play with this, and I'd like to see you post it in the room, in the group. Now, this brings up an important point, guys. This is a teaching group. We're here to help each other. So, as you're, if, if you do that with this image and you're going to play around with different things that you do, post it and talk about it a little bit. If you screw it up, you screw it up. Just say, hey, I was trying to do this and I messed it up. Where did I get what, Sandra? My Krylon spray. Okay, anybody have any questions on this? I had so much fun. Um, well, I posted it in the room, but also if you look on the bottom here, zoom in. Everybody, oh, let's get that. Hold on. There's where I got it. www.facebook.com backslash Mariola. M-A-R-I-O-L-A. 
Udet Art. Zoom out. Okay, love doing this for you. New project. Anybody have any questions or comments so far about this? Yeah, and there are several artists that have Facebook pages that give away these drawings. She's got some other ones. Let's see, hold on. Okay, Lila, listen, guys, anytime you find freebies, will you guys please post that? Wait a minute. Okay, this is this is another one from her that I've got. Let's see here. So there's that one. That was a freebie. I really listen, I really want you guys to get into the mindset Here's another one that she did, both grayscale and line art. If you guys see something that you like, think of the group, please. I don't want anything off Pinterest, though, because we don't know whether it's stolen. All right, here's another one of hers that she did. So yeah, anything that you find that's the art that is fun that you enjoy, that you think that the group would enjoy. Here's one she did as well. share it with the group. Think of the group. Oh, I love this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? These are all freebies from her, guys. So yeah, we're in this group. We're helping each other out. If you see something that you like, the rest of the group probably would as well. All right. Yeah, Selena finishes an email group, Creative Haven. Yeah, Virginia, put that information on there. Um, that Selena finish that I did of, her, of the uh, mermaid, I showed you that page. That was a freebie. And if you find a freebie that you want me to look at and possibly color, get it to me and ask. Okay, guys, Wild Soul. Drum roll. Yeah, you need a printer. <laughs> Listen, Lila, and make sure when you get a printer that it'll handle cardstock. Okay. Now, unfortunately, I can't do any test inking on this. But 
it's looking as though it's pretty thick. Oh, yes, I can. Here we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test my markers. This book was from Sharon McKeska. She got it for the group. I'm going to take a very um, bright Caliart alcohol marker and I'm going to test it on this. Okay, everybody see that? Zoom in. Zoom in. So that will come through. Take your brightest marker, probably your red. To test your colors. So your husband just fusses at you. You have expensive pencils that you won't use. Why won't you use them, Virginia? And he said I should stop buying stuff and be afraid to use it. Yeah, why? Why Are you afraid, sweetie? That's what you need to get over. That's what we're doing in this group. Okay, let's play. Everybody ready for this? So I'm going to put a piece, some paper underneath there. Yeah, it is very smooth paper. All righty. So I'm going to start on my butterfly. Twenty set of prismas and now I'm so mad at these spectrum pencils I think I'm gonna do it okay all right so I'm gonna use marker on grayscale I want you to watch this zoom in Zoom in. When you use marker on grayscale, you've got to use a very light color and a very light touch. Everybody see this? Zoom in. 
Everybody see this. What I want you to notice is I have a very light touch with this. <clears throat> I'm using the side of my marker. And I'm making sure that I only come through once. One pass, guys. Everybody see that? Oh, man, this is beautiful. Yeah, Sandra, you know, Sandra's right. Virginia, you've got color, color something that you know. I suppose it would be helpful if I stayed on camera here for you. All right, now I'm going with a slightly different green, or slightly different color. Notice that I'm not overlapping. And see how beautiful that looks, guys? Now, I want to show you something. Watch this. I'm going to go back with my original blue. Everybody see what I'm doing with this? I'm going down the middle of the butterfly on the blue and I'm going back over the marker. Everybody see that nice striping I've got in there? Yes or no? You can do some really nice shuttle, shuttle, subtle shading with markers. And what you want to do is you want to lay down your base color, same as what you would do with your pencils. You saw me do it with the ribbon on the little girl. And then go back and do whatever markings you want to do.
What do I do to make sure that the ink on the page doesn't muddy the marker color? Um, well, first of all, this is high quality paper. And second of all, I'm not using dark marker colors at all. I'm at the lighter, the lighter end of my spectrum. Okay, so here I'm using my blue. And again, notice that I'm not going back over that. I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that I only pass over once. Everybody clear on that? Hi, Donna. Yes, Donna, this will go to video. Every single broadcast that I do goes to video. If everybody would welcome Deanna, welcome, welcome, welcome. Don't let it throw you that you missed the earlier part. We're good. All right, let me roll you around here. Ah. Deanna, always be free to ask questions, to chat. That's why I do these live. Oh man, look at that. Zoom out. Zoom out. Everybody see how beautiful that looks. Well, Deanna, we're glad to have you here. Yeah, and about that search guy, search. Oh, Deanna, you're welcome. Exactly, Sandra. I let that dry and then I go ahead and do my next layer. Okay. And remember guys, I let that marker dry and then I went back and did one line or a couple swipes with that line to put that stripe in there. I'm not going to do it on the green, I just like it on the blue.
Now I'm going to get a very light brown or a gold color. Fun, laugh, and learn. That's right. Zoom in. And I'm just going to touch the body with this marker. I'm using my Ohuhu's water-based. Now, let's talk about dimension on the bug, on the bug lit. I'm going to touch the head a few more times, which is going to make it darker. Everybody see that? And then I'm going to go ahead and put a little darker on the back near the top, almost like I'm outlining it. Can you guys see this? I'm just kind of dotting that and making the head darker. And look how much dimension that bug has. Oh, Deanna, you are in for a treat. I've been doing grayscale on and off the last few weeks. Now listen, important everybody, if you want to find just my videos, go up into that little magnifying glass and type in the word keywords, K-E-Y, W-O-R-D-S. My videos are the only thing in the whole group that has that. And it'll bring up all the videos. So, does everybody see how I'm shading with my marker that I'm just doing it on the top? So I let that first layer dry and then I went back and I stroked it again. Multiple strokes with marker allow you to do shading. Zoom out. Zoom out. Oh, what I missed. Oh, I missed. I, I see it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Zoom in. And again, when I am coloring with marker, guys, you don't have to hang around on the spot. I mean, I am just, just bumping it with my marker. Thanks, Sandra. You're pointing on it. <laughs> Whee! Oh, man, that butterfly is drop-dead gorgeous. All right. Now, just for giggles and laughs, I'm going to... Go down to the second butterfly. You want to pick a light marker color, guys. I'm going to go with this really nice yellow. Remember, that paper is sucking up this marker. You need to set aside this time every night. I can't wait to see what's... Oh, <laughs> yellow and orange. Okay. Yeah, you, they, yes, Lila, that's true. You get me to add stuff that isn't there. Here, zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Somebody tell Deanna about this. Tell her what we added that wasn't there. Lila, somebody.
Deanne, wait, no, is it Deanne of or Deanne? Love it already, I need the fun. Honey, we all need the fun. <laughs> The group asked me to add the the balloon and the um, bow. Oh, and the clouds. That's why you guys call me the queen of custom coloring, because I take it beyond just coloring a page. All right. Zoom in, zoom in. Now notice on the marker, I'm just going up and down, done. I'm taking my time, but I'm not lingering. Do not be afraid of your marker pens. Do not be afraid of your pages. All right, Sandra, you want me to stick to yellows and orange? You know, Lila, actually I didn't, but I will. I'm going to do the two butterflies and then I'll go ahead and pre-spray this. Uh, put a padlock on your Amazon account. <laughs> Sandra, yellow and orange, right? Admiral Butterfly, okay. Now, zoom in. I want you to see something that I'm doing here. See the streaks that I'm putting on here? I'm just putting on little strokes. Uh, somebody answered Deanne's question about the Krylon. Now that orange is just a little extra touch that I wanted to add on the yellow. If that doesn't float your boat, don't do it. Deanna, the Krylon, when you pre-spray your page when you're doing when you're gonna use markers, is it helps you it helps the water-based markers not streak. And it leaves, also, it also leaves a base, exactly. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my orange. Uh, Deanne, okay, again, is it Deanne or Deanna? Deanna, would you let me know? Do I add the A on the end for Deanna? Mm 
No A, Deanne. Okay, Deanne. All right. I will try very hard to not mispronounce no A. Well, yeah, but how do I pronounce it? So I say Deanne or Deanna? Deanne. Deanne. Okay. All right, everybody see now how that marker's going on there? I'm not I'm not going over anything. Take your time. Watch the strokes. Well, Deanne, let me put it to you this way. My name is Eileen. But I get Irene all the time. And our names are very personal to us, so I try to be very careful with that. Okay. And Deanne, if you like our group, tell your friends, will you? This is a sanctuary for everybody to come into. Relax, have fun, <clears throat> laugh. Okay, everybody watch how I'm doing this with the markers as I'm just carefully going over each section and I try not to go over the same spot twice. That's the key, guys. Vicki, hello. And also notice that I'm doing each segment of this, yes, kissing the paper. Very, very lightly, guys. Let your marker do the work. Yeah, and Deanne, just like Sandra did, if you step away from your computer or the screen, let me know. It's a monarch butterfly. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to take a slightly darker marker darker marker darker marker <laughs> I can do this in one of two ways guys I can use the same marker and just do repeat strokes over the edge or I can take a darker marker and I can go ahead and do a little bit of outline on this. What I want you to notice, see how I'm bringing it in like a little U up, up that spine just a little bit.
Everybody see that? So I'm just making little U's on the tip of the butterfly. Now let's play with this a little bit. I'm going to bring that darker orange up the spine just a little bit. Everybody see that? Just touch it. Oh man, look at that. Pretty. Now, it looks a little wonky because I'm close up. And if that butterfly isn't jumping off the page at you, I'll tell you. Zoom out. Zoom out. What do you think? Zoom in. Hi, Rebecca. Now, when you're using markers on grayscale, always use a color slightly lighter than what you think you need. Grazia, G-R-A-Z-I-A, Salvo, S-A-L-V-O. Did you get it, Deanne? Emma, hello. I'm going to add a little tint of a very light bluish green. Zoom in. Take your time. And I'm going to darken a little bit. I want you to see the skies. See how I'm doing repetitive strokes on the top. Look, 
and around the curve. Everybody see how that green now is coming out, my greenish blue? Beautiful. Zoom out. Anybody have any questions about this? And again, I'm just doing repetitive strokes on the top of the wing with my marker which is giving me layers of color and giving me lots of what? What's the D word, guys? Throw that D word at me. All right, and while you guys are figuring that out, I'm going to do it down here. And I'm going to pull that slightly darker greenish blue along the bottom of the top wing dimension look how gorgeous that looks guys not hard now what freaks people out about grayscale is when you have a dark area of grayscale Trust me, it picks up the color. Zoom in. Zoom in. Everybody see how dark that grayscale is, but yet you're still seeing that nice bluish green? All right. And I'm just going to put a line right there. Oops, excuse me. Zoom out. Tell me that isn't drop dead gorgeous. Okay. Let's do the other wing. I gotta turn the book. Oh no. Okay. My screen has locked up. Am I still on? Yes. All right, bear with me a minute. I'm going to see what's going on. second guys technical issues okay I'm back thank you yeah these are these are water based markers All right, zoom in, zoom in. Now, I want you to watch, knowing what I did on this one side, I want you to watch what I do on the other side. Yeah, you can use markers, you just gotta check your paper, Deanne. All right, everybody see how so this is lighter here on this butterfly up at the top and then we've got the darker part at the bottom. 
So what that means is I'm just going to very carefully work my way around my yellow spots. I'm going to try to not repeat my strokes on any area that I've gone over. And even though this is a dark spot underneath, I'm going to still color it in my color. Just because it's dark, don't not color it. All right. That's right, you can use um, pencils, pencils over markers, markers over pencils, exactly. Now, watch. Just like the other wing here, I'm going to go back with my marker, and this is where you'll see the repeated stroke now is going to make my color. Everybody see that? And you see how we're getting a nice dark green outline here? On that wing. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous, guys. Woohoo! All right. Let's do the bottom. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no, don't let your battery die. <laughs> All right, hold on, I gotta get a marker. All right, let me get you back. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my buglet body. I'm going to put my first layer down, which is my very light marker. I'm just zipping it on. And now to get my what? Dimension. I'm going to go ahead and go back over the center here. See how that's getting darker? Now, watch this. On this tail where we've got these little ridges, zoom in, zoom in. Ah. All right, I'm going to get really close because I want you to see this. I'm going to darken every other spot here on the tail and the way you do that is just keep dabbing at it with your marker everybody see that zoom out zoom out Can you guys see the rings on the tail now?
zoom out. All right. Camera issues. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Hey, Shelly, welcome back. Zoom out. Zoom out. There you go. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. And I want you to see how vivid this marker is on these colors. Very, very straightforward in doing this. All right. So let me grab some of my pinks. Anybody have any questions so far since we were so rudely interrupted? <laughs> You can see how vivid these markers are and you can see how straightforward it is to get these colors laid in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and pop over to these flowers. Let me grab some water. Zoom in, zoom in. So I'm still using my markers. It's the water-based. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a base color down now for my flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. Do not be afraid of markers, guys. Ashley, hi.
All right, everybody see how I'm laying down the base color now of this flower. Welcome back to everybody. Oops, I almost colored a leaf. Hold on, that's a leaf. Let's see, flower. Thank you, Sandra. I think it's a great color, too. Oh, who, who doesn't name their colors? It's just color number eight. It's like a salmon color, I think, Sandra. Yeah, that happens every once in a while, Lila. Let's see here. You know what? I think that's part of the flower. It is now. Hello, Helen. Welcome. I'm sorry, what did what did we miss, Sandra? Zoom out. So I'm going to go ahead and balance this and pink up this one. That's right, I didn't see that butterfly.
We're going to have lots of fun with this one, aren't we? Zoom in. Oh, yeah. Zoom out. <laughs> yeah, Sandra, same here. <laughs> you start to see the intricacies of it. Yeah, I know. Facebook is lagging. I can see it when I'm zooming with my different cameras. Hold on guys, I'm looking at another color here. Yeah. With it being Saturday, exactly. All right, I'm going to go with a slightly different color pink. Zoom in.
Everybody see that different shade now that I've picked? All right, now I've laid my base color on this last flower. And remember what I told you about my marker that repeated strokes are gonna darken por portions of it? Sandra, do me a favor and say something so I can make sure that you guys are still able to chat with me. I just wanna make sure it hasn't locked. Okay, good. Don't forget the bug. What bug? <laughs> you love me. <laughs> Okay, now what I want you to see is I've got this very light peachy skin tone color, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my marker, right? Same marker. And everybody see how I'm highlighting now? the portions of this flower. Everybody see that? Flowers are a lot of fun to do because it's kind of hard to screw them up, but I want you to see how I'm just hitting sections. Again, guys, same marker, all right?
So for example, you can do the tips. Just don't get carried away with it here. You want to put on little accent marks. And basically, I'm I'm pretty much done with that flower. I don't want to do too much more with it. Um, Sandra, you'd have to look at that on, at Ohuhu on Amazon. I don't know how much that was. All right, zoom out. Zoom out. This is the back of the page, and I haven't had any marker come through at all. Zoom out. So we're in really good shape as far as the thickness of the page. Zoom out. Yeah, I think we've got some really nice colors here. Oh, the quality on this paper is outstanding. <coughs> now the alcohol will go through as I showed you. But the water base so far is not. Okay, so I just wanted to step back and have you guys take a look at where we are so far. Always good to do that. Zoom in. Yeah, the page is waking up. That's a good way to put it, Lila. Zoom in. Let me uh, play with something here. Hold on a minute. Oh, don't want that one. All right. I wanted to check my alcohol markers and see if there was anything that would work for the yellow. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with my... Yeah, I'm just going to stick with my um, water-based. But wait, guys, there's more. <laughs> All right, zoom in, zoom in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a yellow on this one.
Now, just because you have a lighter color doesn't mean that you shouldn't do multiple strokes. Or should do. You want to do single strokes or else your color is going to get too bright. And I'm going to merge that with the, this orange. Everybody see that? Zoom in. Zoom in. So I've got this orange color here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there. Isn't that pretty? Uh, so that yellow is that prominent color and then I'm going to put that little bit of orange on there. Zoom out. Zoom out. Oh man, this is really lagging. Well, if I get bumped, I'll come back. Alright, we've got yellow in the butterfly. We've got pink up here. So I'm going to put a little bit of yellow down here. Zoom in. And I know this is looking a little wonky right now because we've done nothing but flowers. But once we start balancing it out with the green and the butterfly that's left, it's all going to make sense. One layer on the salmon flowers, that's right. Oh, no, I'm going to go back to that. No, 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 no. Um, to your right, Lila, should... control bar and it's got will somebody explain to her how to throw hearts it's to the right of your comment bar now again notice guys that when I'm putting down this yellow just like before when I was doing the butterfly I need one layer of that yellow.
So I've got my first layer of yellow down. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Now, I'm going to go back. Any question on that? Zoom out. Zoom out. Now, what I'm going to do now is take a very light pink. And I'm going to color in now this darker portion of the flowers right at the base of the petals. Now, it's totally optional if you want to go ahead and add that. Welcome back, Lila.
Yeah, you, you go. You just go to the like button and click on the heart. Go ahead and try it. And if you click on it several times, it's going to float some hearts out there. There you go. I see him. Thank you, Lila. And again, guys, I'm just tapping this with my marker. I'm going to be on for another half hour, and then I'll wrap up just to let you guys know. All right, zoom out. Thank you, Lila. Zoom out. Boy, we're all having problems tonight, aren't we? Alright. So let's take a look at where we are right now. I will remind you that everything goes through an ugly phase and you'll look at something and you'll be working it and working it and working it and think you're not getting anywhere. You are. All right, let me go back to my two flowers here. As Sandra pointed out, she thought I was going to leave them. No. <laughs> No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, when you get to see the whole thing. Just teasing me, testing me, teasing me. <laughs> well, you know I wouldn't let those flowers go. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking a... Thank you, Shelly. I'm taking a pinkish purple... And I'm going to go ahead now and start shading these flowers. Let me swatch this color for you. Isn't that pretty? Zoom in. Zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and add these now to my flowers. And I'm especially making it a point of coloring over the black lines, right? We've talked about that before. Everybody see what neat thing is happening now with these?
Hi, Jean. So this is where we're working the pencil on top of the marker. Well, thank you, Lila. <laughs> That's how you learn. I love this paper. Good quality paper. Oh, man. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Now, look at the difference between this flower and this flower that have the same base color, but how much better, of course, this looks. I am so falling in love with this picture, I'll tell you. Right. So let's go ahead and do this second one. And everybody see how I'm following the streaks on this flower? I'm not just willy-nilly coloring it in. When you're coloring your piece, guys, and your flowers, I want you to think about what you're doing. You see how we've got some really nice, actually, little marker streaks here? Follow those. Does anybody have any questions? Questions, comments?
Well, thank you, Sandra. <laughs> And then I'm going to use my finger, you know, I like to do that just to smooth that out. I have no compunction about that. Zoom out. <laughs> oh. Well, give me a few more minutes to do a couple leaves and then you can go to bed. All right, what do you think so far, guys? Oh, yay, working on, an, on another dragon picture. Australia. Hello, Australia. Jody, this is Wild Soul by Gracia Salvo. Having a lot of fun showing you guys how to color how I'm coloring this. We're using markers and pencil. Thank you, Sharon. All right. Now, I know it looks a little wonky. I mean, you know, we're in the middle of things here. So let me put some leaves on here and then I'll wrap up. Yeah, I love looking at uh, Jean's add-ons. Ooh, I like that color. All right. Let's have some fun with some leaves here. And again, I've said this to you guys, every coloring that you do is going to go through an ugly stage. I hear so many people that they post stuff and they say, I'm so frustrated with this, yada, yada, yada. And guys, you, <laughs> you got to work through it. You really do. Trust me, it'll come out. All right, let me do a few of these leaves, and then I'll send you guys packing off to bed. So stick with me. Hey, we've got Australia here. We've got the UK here. Yeah, we've got Canada here.
All right, now I want you to watch what I'm doing here. A little bit different. I put my base color down. And then I'm coming back in with this darker green. Everybody see that? And I'm leaving that darker green to not quite go out to the outside. Everybody see that? It is Saturday, 10 p.m. here. It's Sunday in the UK at four o'clock in the morning. Everybody see what I did with that leaf? And that was all marker. I'm going to go a little bit darker with the second leaf with my first marker. In other words, I'm going over that base color a couple times. Everybody see that? Oh, don't show me another. I don't know what CB is. What What is CB, Kim? Okay, everybody see how I've made this a darker green with that first marker? Adorable Animals Grayscale CB. Alright, now I'm going to come back in with my darker green. Oh, coloring book. Okay. Adorable animals coloring book. Who's the author? All right, everybody see now how I'm putting that darker green? Jane Maday, M-A-D-A-Y. Um, Kim Dalton, take a take a screenshot of it and post it in the room so I can see it. All right, let me do a couple more of these, and then I'll get out of your hair. Now this one, I think I'm just going to go ahead and use the same marker and color it that way. 
be very, very careful if you're doing a certain pattern on your leaves. Is don't get too repetitive with it with everything else on your page, okay? Okay. Don't go. You want more? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll leave that up to you guys. Yeah, Kim, don't don't forget to post that book. I'd be curious to see it. All right, let's see what we got here. Now, for now, I'm going to put a little green on the stem of this flower. But at some point in time, I'll go back and throw some brown on there. All right, let me get a really light brown. Oh, good, Jean. Everybody see how I'm po putting a little bit of brown on there? So we've got a more realistic le um, stem. And I'm deliberately making the stems of the flowers different From the leaves. Excuse my hand. Now, I want to show you something here. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown and I'm gonna pull it up into the leaf. Everybody see that? What? What, Ashley? You've got Eileen, Star Star. What's that? Hello. 
Hello, Holly. Welcome. All right. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, that's okay, Ashley. It's just a little easier to see when you can do the capital L, but no biggie. All right, I'm going to use a slightly darker green. <clears throat> on this leaf. Again, because you don't want to be repetitive with your leaves, right? Everybody see how smoothly Well, Holly, we're going to have to get you to use colored pencils. Notice I'm being careful about my overlaps. There we go. Look how cool that looks. And now I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and make that center vein a little darker. All right, two more leaves. What kind of time frame do you guys have? Do you want me to stay on camera? Oh, I know, Jody. Some people are, you're right. Some people are afraid of one medium. Well, again, Holly, we need to get you looking at other mediums. Okay. Now, we got to be careful by this butterfly because we've got some dark greens by it already. Holly, have you posted some of your work in the group? Okay, Sandra, since you're wide awake. I want you to notice how I'm going over with repeat strokes on this leaf on the outside. Everybody see that? Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got Cali Arts. I've been only going for two hours and 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah, is that my first or my second broadcast, Sandra? Banyo, B-A-N-I-Y-O, Banyo. Haven't used those. All right. All right, notice how I'm shading this. And then I'm going to throw this brownish on here just to make that look more like a stem. So I've got my light green and then a light brown. Alright, one more area here that I missed. You're hooked on throwing hearts. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm using a hoo hoo's. I'm using entanment watermark water uh, based. I have Caliart, Caliart alcohol. I'm not using those tonight. All right. But you throw them with love. All right, let me pull out and let's take a look at where we are. There's where we are so far. Anybody have any questions or comments? I see those going by. Thank you. And again, guys, I appreciate you liking my work. You know, this may not be to the taste of somebody. But I want you to learn the method. That's the big thing. All right. So let me, let me check.
check a couple colors. Oh, that definitely is not it. And that's not it. All right. Now, instead of using colored pencil to do the face, which is what I normally would do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my, my Kelly Art marker. And I'm going to lay down a basic skin color. You can hear me thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where is a place that does good tutorials on markers? Such as what, Holly? You can go to YouTube. Do a search on how to use Sharon. Hi. How to use markers. Okay, we're going to do skin. Yeah, I've got... I've got my piece of paper in the back. So we're good to go. We are doing skin. Holly, seriously, go to YouTube and look for a basic tutorial on markers. I have absolutely no problem posting other YouTube videos in my group if I think a tutorial is a particular good. I have, I have no ego in this, guys. All right, I'm now using alcohol. Everybody see that? Pretty. Okay, what what got cut off, sweetie, Holly? Oh. 
Okay, guys, I was bummed a second time. I'm back again. This is my third startup on this. Come on in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. I am really starting to get annoyed. <laughs> Zoom in. Zoom in. Ugh. I'm about to say a really nasty, naughty string of words. <laughs> All right. We will prevail. I get bumped off. You guys just got to keep coming back. I'll tell you what, guys, if I had another medium that I could broadcast live like this, I would be on it like you wouldn't believe. All right. So I'm doing Wild Soul. I'm working on the face. This is the third time I was bumped. All right, I'm using my alcohol markers now. Oh, I got you about the test paper. Thank you. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, now I'm going to turn you.
Now be careful that you keep your markers going in the same direction. Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying this, Sandra. And again, so sorry about your lockdown. Now, if you've noticed, or as you've noticed... I've avoided the eyes for a second. I'm going to go ahead and put a very light pink on here. And also notice that I'm going to go ahead and swipe a couple more times. Welcome to everybody that's coming in. And again, notice that I'm giving some depth to the eyelids by outlining a little bit. I've got my, this is my water-based marker at the moment. And then I'm going to go back with my skin marker. And guys, I can't say it enough. Take your time.
Be careful with your overlap, just like on your water-based markers, although these are pretty good about not streaking. That's why alcohol is so good. Got a little bit of a bark here. Now, this is my error with my marker, is I've got a little bit of overlap here. You want to be as continuous as possible. I'll fix that later. Eh, I'm fine. I'm fine, Leela. I this is very comfortable for me. I sleep during the day and I'm up at night. Everybody see how I'm doing this in smooth, continuous strokes? Once you start an area, guys, you got to keep going with it. So this is an area that I need to fix because I, I didn't continue my stroke all the way down. But that is definitely fixable. All right.
zoom out. All right, let's take a look at our little lady. Isn't that beautiful? But Sandra, it is perfectly fixable. It really is. All right, let's do the neck. Sandra, it's just a technique issue. It really is. Don't let it throw you. Yeah, the nose turned out beautifully. Hello, Donna. Sandra and everybody else, I don't want you to get, to, don't let markers throw you. And actually, I'm glad I made that mistake because that, like I said, it is totally fixable. You won't even know that's there. All right, Rita, hello. Now, guys, you cannot rush marker. Take your time. Just let it happen.
Now I changed my mind at the last minute to go ahead and run this all the way down to the bottom. So I'm going to have a little bit of a color difference. And I will resolve that as well. All right. Now, let me show you how to take care of any streaking. It is so ridiculously simple, guys. Everybody see that? All you have to do <clears throat> is take a comparable colored pencil and take care of any streaking. Everybody see that? Gone. Gone. Sandra, see that streak right here? Gone. Any color variations? Gone. What's the issue, guys? And some people don't know this, and they leave it. All right, what's the issue, guys? Right? All right. Streaks on the neck, gone. Have I earned my, my pay for the day? <laughs> All right, color variation along the bottom here. Gone. Yes, ma'am, Jody. Any color pencil will do as long as it's the right color. Well, since I don't get paid for this, Lila. <laughs> That's okay. I get paid in friendship and meeting you guys and making pretty art. So basically, guys, I don't want to hear one more complaint about people not doing markers because they're afraid of the streaking, Sandra.
What do you think? Well, honestly, guys, you know what my tip jar is? My tip jar is if you go to my Amazon wish, wish list and pick up a supply for me, not for me, for the group, honestly, that's, that does it. Thank you. All right. Any questions now? Tell me that isn't drop dead gorgeous. Give me a DDG. <laughs> ah. Um. Sandra, I haven't updated the affiliate list yet. That's different, but I will. But my Amazon wish list is still there. Please do her lips. Okay. I will. Now, I'm going to take my marker. I need to grab something here. Hold on. Zoom out. Doesn't the back look funny? Look at the back. <laughs> All right. Now you got to tell me what SSC is. Oh, so stinking cute. That's it. It should be a TSC. Too stinking cute. <laughs> All right, does anybody have any questions now about correcting marker streaks? Now, I'm going to, there's a couple more things I need to do on her, <coughs> her face, though. All right, now watch this. I want to do a little more shadow on her face for dimension. So I'm going to take the same marker and I'm going to go on the along the outside. Everybody see that? Now the author already put in dark lines here, but I'm going to go in and I'm going to hit that a little bit more. The author did not put shade lines or did not put very many shade lines on the chin. I am choosing to enhance that and I'm using just a narrow line here. Everybody see that?
Now, I'm going to go basically just about on top of the hair, but I want a little bit of shadow where that hair is. Everybody see how that's getting enhanced now? And I don't know if you can see this, but there is a, a shadow of this leaf on her face. I'm going to go ahead and darken that just a little bit. See that? And then I'm going to go up here. And I'm adding a little bit of shadow by her hair. I need to know you got that you guys see this. The artist did not put this in. I am adding it. And I'm going to put a little teeny liney here, right there. Going to curve that so it doesn't look wonky. And follow the hair right there. Let me pull out now and show you the overall effect. Does that not look beautiful? Guys, do not be afraid to add stuff like this. All right? I've got a little bit of a dark spot here, so I'm going to blend that better. Again, guys, the author of this book did not put that line in. I am adding that, and I'm adding the shading around here. I want you to see that. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of shading here. And I am barely touching the tip. Teeny, teeny, tiny, right? And I'm now going to go ahead over the eye. And I'm going to enhance that as well. Everybody see that? Questions, comments? All right.
Sharon, hello. It is easy, Jody. It's absolutely easy. All right, now there's a cheek right here. I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a little smiley face. Everybody see this? That's gonna bring out this cheek a little bit. Same here. See that line? Zoom out. Zoom out. I keep trying. <laughs> Can you guys see this subtle shading right here? I'm just making a little you smiley face, right? And as I repeat the stroking, it gets just a little bit darker. I can definitely see it. I don't know if you guys can. I hope you can. What am I doing? I'm just making a little U. Everybody see that? Not hard, guys. And I'm bringing it up. See that? Don't worry about the hair right now. I'm getting pencil on it. Whoopty ding, I can erase it. All right. Hi, Domino. Oh, hold on, guys. I got a cat. Hold on. Oh, hi, dear. All right, let me bring you out so you can really see that. What do you think? Okay, so I got to show you Domino. Domino. Come here. Come on. That's Domino. Anybody have any questions? Now listen to me. This is not hard, guys. I'm just making a little U on these cheeks on either side. That's all I'm doing. All right. Here, I don't know if you guys can see this. I want to show you something because this is kind of cute. Let me see if I can show you this. So, if you look at her tummy, she's got 
two little white marks or, or two big areas of white on here. And obviously she's a black cat. So it looks like, good night, Rita. She looks like a domino piece, you know, a number two piece on a domino. So that's how she got her name. Because, yeah, I'm a pretty cat. I like my tummy rubbed. <laughs> so anyway, that's Domino. Yeah. All right. Anybody have any questions or heebie-jeebies about this? I'm on a roll. I can keep going. You guys want me to keep going? Sandra wants to see your lips. Yeah, she chatters. Yeah, she's an older cat, too. Gosh, I think I've had her for like 14 years now. All right. You guys want me to keep going? Yes. Everybody says yes. All right. As long as I have an audience... I will keep going. You need me to have a drink. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I got a little thing of water that I keep up here in my studio because I don't have a sink up here. I can refill my water. All right. If you guys are going to stick with me, I will keep going. I don't mind at all. If this isn't drop dead gorgeous, I don't know what is. And it's not hard. It's not hard, guys. <laughs> Please. All right. Zoom in. Doggone it. I keep trying. All right. Let's do some lips. Then we got a butterfly. Then we got a few more plants. Then I'll do the hair, and then it's done. All right. So, let's see what we can do with these lips here. Now you can really see. Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to go ahead and put with pencil a layer of pink. Oh, my wish list isn't showing. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, it's it's got to be the U.S. If you guys want to send the group a gift card, you can do that too. Either way. Oops. All right. So I'm taking the pink. So I put down a basic layer there. Amazon says you have no friends. <laughs> oh, you're taking me with you to make your tea so you don't miss anything. I love it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, everybody see now how I've got a really nice layer of pink and then I'm darkening it on the edges all 
And then I'm blending it in, of course, right? I actually didn't know that you could have friends on Amazon. I'm going to go ahead and bring that pink a little bit right next to the lip line. I'm going to you're sad that you have no friends don't you have friends here in the group I'm gonna go ahead and use my blender pencil just very lightly And don't brush your pencil away with your hand like I just did. <laughs> Amazon says no, but you think differently. Okay. All right, now be really, really careful if you use your blender pencil on paper like this because... It may bring up that gray ink. It depends on the quality of the book. So be careful. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white pencil. and put that highlight line everybody see that All right, let's pull out. If you want to smooth your, with your fingers, fine, no biggie. And then I'm going to take my pink pencil and I'm very lightly going to add a little bit of blush. I'm using the side of my pencil. I could use my chalks if I <clears throat> wanted to. My voice just broke. <laughs> Everybody see that pink coming in? I'm going to pull that pink up a little bit 
to the side. Everybody see that? It'll look more natural. Because that's how we apply makeup as women. And I'm even putting a little bit of pink over the apple where we made that U. Everybody see that? All right, blend your pencil very lightly. Oh yeah, that's blending in beautifully. I'm using the side of my blender pencil, guys. lovely absolutely lovely I'm almost like I keep expecting her to look up you know I don't I don't know why but it just seems like she's gonna look up all right now I'm a little unhappy with this eyeshadow color because that's way 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 pink thank you Selena so I'm going to take a purple pencil and I'm going to go over that pink Mia welcome everybody see how I'm doing that I'm using the side of my pencil. Everybody see the difference now between these two? I'm just getting a little more purple into this eyeshadow so we match the lips. And I actually had intended the lips to be a little more pink, but when I blended them, it brought the ink up and it made it <clears throat> darker into purple. And you guys know I keep telling you, if something screws up, work around it. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. My lips went purple instead of pink. You're right. And Leela, it isn't so harsh. I'm actually surprised a couple, anybody didn't question me on that. Because it looked harsh. I was, I was waiting to see if anybody would say anything. Oh, much better. All right. If it isn't working, ask Eileen. <laughs> now, another quick thing I want to show you here. Within the context of the picture, here, let me show you something. Within the context of the picture, I think her eye color is still too bright. 
Everybody see that? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take Hold on guys. Hold on guys, I'll be with you. Sit tight. Okay, I'm sorry. I will, I'll do her eyebrows. Sorry for the delay. Give me a minute. Sparkles. Oh, hi, Maribel. Hi. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to soften her eyeshadow with the white. All right, guys, I'm going to I'm going to pause with something cuz there's an announcement that I want to tell you. I'm glad Maribel popped in because it's about her. I'm happy to announce that I'm going to be featuring, Mar featuring Maribel as our next guest artist, like we did with Dawn. She will be with us Saturday, the 23rd. I believe that's the proper date. Yes, Saturday, the 23rd. So Maribel is coming in. She will come in live, like I said, like Dawn did. I was actually going to post the announcement, but since she popped in the room, I thought I would tell you guys. So does that sound exciting, guys? You guys have seen her work and her postings. And this will be a really neat way 
to showcase her work. All right, guys, here's where we are so far. So I will be coordinating with Maribel about all this, and it will be Saturday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I, ho and I think you guys can give her a wonderful welcome like you did Dawn. Dawn was very happy to be featured. And I think it's going to be fun. I didn't. I've been online, Lisa, uh, Leela. All right, see, much, see how much better these eyes look now because I softened the pink. Now I'm gonna do the eyebrows a very soft brown. Maribel, what time is it right now? So I'm just going to go ahead now on her eyebrows and do a very nice light brown on that because we don't want those sticking out too much. Six thirty, Maribel, yeah. I'll be in touch with you on Sunday. I'll send you some text, Maribel, just so that we can get that coordinated. All right. Now, does everybody see how I've made a subtle coloring on the eyebrows? Okay, I'm going to, will you do me a favor, Maribel, and I don't know if you did, I don't think you've done this yet, because we thought that it wasn't going to happen, is if you'll text me <clears throat> or PM me your uh, email address. And think about what you want to promote as far as yourself because that's the idea this group is a great way to showcase and people can ask you questions oh got it thank you Maribel <laughs> Uh. And also, I didn't I don't think you know <clears throat> I don't think I told you this yet, but the um broadcast 
that you'll be live in also will be posted on YouTube. And you are perfectly welcome to use that for your own promotion. All right, anybody have any question here about our little lady that I'm coloring for you tonight? Pretty. And I'm now going to go ahead here with the skin tone and just add a little bit of brown underneath the eyes and that'll make these stand out beautifully. And what I want you to see guys is I'm going to go ahead and let this brown come out as far as the eyelashes. And that way we'll get a really, really nice dimension on this. Everybody see that? Yeah, as soon as I... I will make that announcement, Maribel, tomorrow that you'll be live with us. And then you can go ahead and post that in your other groups. And I think we'll have a really, really good interaction for you. Anybody have any question here about how this is looking so I'll finish the leaves if you guys are gonna hang I'll finish the leaves which won't take me long at all we've got one butterfly the hair we're done I'm so excited about this piece you still with us Maribel I think we are in good, 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 good shape. Now, I'm going to use my electric eraser to erase away some of the grayscale in the eye. Everybody see that? And then I'm going to go back in. And I'm going to color her eye whatever color we decide. So, throw me some opinions on what color we should do her eyes.
We'll have some fun with this. Lila, you still here? Green, okay. Green or blue, okay. Well, this is what I'm thinking. You're still hanging in there with me. You know, guys, this will be fun. If you're up to it, I'll finish it. So I'm going to use my marker. And I'm copying, I'm copying, I'm coloring the top part of her eye, the darker blue. Everybody see that? It's a little touchy because we got small area. And then I'm going to go in with a lighter blue. And this will all make sense when you see it. Oh man, beautiful. Oh, Sandra, I'm fine, truly. I've got it. I'm not using alcohol and I've got double fold. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, look at I've got quadruple folded, but thank you. All right, zoom out. Oh, all right, everybody see that now? I'm driving Sandra crazy. And I'm gonna take a little pencil now and go over the top of both colors. There we go let you off this time. <laughs> All right. Doggone it, she's pretty. We are in good shape. But she loves me. <laughs> oh man, this piece is just turning out so pretty. All right. So let me go ahead and grab, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
All right, I'm going to use a light and a dark purple. This is you hanging. <laughs> I love it, Lila. <laughs> that makes me laugh. All right, now I'm back to my water-based marker, so I do have to be careful about streaking. All right? You better believe we need to have fun while we're learning. Are you guys excited about having Maribel come in? Do I not do good things for this group or what? Right? Oh, no, no, no. I, I said, Maribel, I said... Are, is everybody excited about having Maribel come in? And they said yes. By the way, Maribel now has an Etsy store. So I just want to let you guys know about that. All right, now. So Maribel has an Etsy store. And what's the other store, Maribel? Uh, actually, Maribel, you are interesting. Your work is beautiful. I've been actually watching it for a while. And I thought that it would be a really neat thing to bring into the group. Okay, everybody see what I'm doing with this butterfly. Red bubble, that's it. I didn't know what that was. What, Maribel, what is that? What is red bubble? I just, I don't have any knowledge about that.
Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little blue on top of this purple. Everybody see that? And that'll really make this butterfly look interesting. <laughs> Anybody that has green hair cannot be boring. That is correct. <laughs> oh, love it. We have an exciting group, group Maribel. You'll find them to be very warm and welcoming. Oh, okay. So Redbubble is a store where you choose a design and an object, and you can have a drawing on a t-shirt, mug, or dress. Oh, cool. Okay, we need to talk about that, too, when, we're, when you're live. Okay, everybody see how I'm making the butterfly back a little bit darker? Hey, Maribel. How's your sense of adventure? Don't be nervous. Maribel, <clears throat> on your setting, somewhere on your camera, Let me see something here. Hold on. Okay, listen, Maribel. Let's try something here just for fun. Are you willing? No big deal here. I'm going to send you... A request to bring you on camera. Let's see if we can make that happen. Okay, everybody see our butterfly? Zoom in. All right, so we've got our blue. We've got our purple, right? And why did I do that? Because of the lips and the eyes. Okay, I just sent you a request to go on camera. Did you receive it? Anybody have any questions or comments here? about where we are so far. Oh, no, please? Okay. Well, sometime between now and the broadcast, we need to work out the logistics. Do you have your jammies? Oh, you've got your jammies on, that's why. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. Hey, I haven't been to bed, so. Hey, Sandra. All right, who's willing to do this with me? Let's see.
I meant you're in your nightgown. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, I'll give you five minutes. Sure, go ahead and just throw something on and we'll try this. It's just, it's just for, listen, Maribel, it's just for fun, okay? All right, meanwhile, back to this. Oh my gosh, guys, we are so close. So if we can pull this off, Maribel will be live with us. It's a test run for next Saturday, but hey, why not? <laughs> you guys just never know what's going to happen when we do when I do a live broadcast, right? All right, I'm using my water-based markers, right? Everybody see this? I love you guys. You're great sports. You really are. All right, now watch. I'm going to go ahead. Remember when I told you that you repeat your strokes over marker to make things a little bit darker? Watch. So I'm just going to shade up some of this with marker. Everybody see that? Remember, guys, when you do marker, you want to do your first layer consistently and lightly, okay? Everybody with me on that. And then you go back and you can highlight any way you want. Everybody see this? All right, now I'm going to make this leaf a little darker right here, just for dimension. Because it's folded over. I am having way too much fun tonight. Okay. Everybody see now how I'm darkening this leaf just to give it a little bit of pattern. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this is a really nice green. It's my Ohuhu number 72. All right, then I'm going to darken down the middle. All right. Oh, man, these leaves are so pretty.
the main thing I want you guys to see is that you can shade <clears throat> beautifully with markers, right? I mean, what did I show you on the face? All right, we still on camera here. So Sandra, are you gonna do faces now with markers now that I showed you how to fix streaks? You keep trying to move the fa the move the page with your mouse. <laughs> That's okay, Lila, that works. Okie dokie, where are we? Oh man, beautiful. I'm not even going to darken that with brown. All right, let me bring you out. Like a stick man? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, let's see something here. I don't like, let me see here. Okay. I got to fix something because I don't like this. Yeah, I know. Now that, now that you tell us about it. I don't like the way this brown is showing up on this leaf. So I'm going to go ahead and put my layer of green over that to fix that. Everybody see that? That brown on that leaf was one of those seemed like a good idea at the time. I just don't like it. Oh yeah, much better. Okay. straighten up my camera oh my gosh guys Ugh. tell me that doesn't look great I am a happy camper with this I really am All right. Now, the reason I did this butterfly in purples and blues was because I wanted to pick up the pink and purple here. And there's one thing that I notice that I want to fix or add to is I'm going to take a I'm going to take a very light purple 
well, slightly darker purple. And I'm going to outline this. Because that was the most boring butterfly. Everybody see what I'm doing here? Oh my gosh, that is so much better. Oh my gosh, tons better. And remember guys, even though you're working on marker, you need to always have something underneath your hand when you're resting it on the page because you want to keep your page clean. How many of you guys want to guess that Maribel's putting makeup on? Oh my gosh. Pretty. Oh, now look. But wait, there's more. <laughs> All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a little oval here. Oh, look at that. I know Maribel's putting makeup on. We're gonna have to tease her about that when she comes back. Oh, do I like that. And then I'm going to put a little dot right there. Isn't that cute? How neat is that? I'm going to have to text Maribel and tell her to quit putting makeup on. Getting your dress, combing your hair, and applying makeup. That's right. Okay. I love it. So the last thing I'm going to do, since you guys are sticking with me tonight, I need to look up something real quick. Bear with me.
Yeah, we're all in our jammies. That's right. Oh yeah, you can use your phone, sure. <clears throat> so Maribel, we all have a question for you. <laughs> Did you, you changed, right? Did you put makeup on and to do your hair and everything? <laughs> Oh, we're going to tease you. All right, let's see if we can get you here. All right, I've sent the request, Maribel. I need everybody else to kind of hang tight while we're figuring this out and trying to get it. The guest decline. Okay. Let me grab some water. We're going to try it again. Okay, what happened? Okay, I just got a request to join. Let's try it again. All right, we're still trying. Maribel, are you getting a getting a signal or getting a request or Okay, you can't what? Is it not going through? It doesn't work. All right. Well, let's try. We had the same problem with Dawn. Maribel, try this request send me a request to join as a guest in the broadcast okay thank you for your patience for the rest of you All 
right, let's get some hair done here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a darker hair color with her. So in other words, I'll stay with the black because this is pretty black. Let me look at something else here. Okay, these guys are lighter. That's lighter. Okay. Oh, that's real light. Okay. So here's how I'm going to do the hair. Sandra, are you still with me? Lila, are you still with me? Da, da, da. All right. And Sandra, I am being careful with the swatching. If you ever say me a naughty, if you ever hear me say a naughty word, you'll know I messed up. <laughs> oh, good. There's a good gray. All right. Here we go. So I'm still on my water-based markers. Hi, Ashley. All right, let me bring you in. All right, so what the gray is doing, I'm doing it in the highlighted area. Okay, Sandra. Yeah, me too, because I got to get some rest. So I'm coloring with a really nice gray. Hey, I'm having a lot of fun with these markers. I'm glad you're starting to like them. Now, I think it's going to be a little hard to see, but the, but the gray now that I'm adding, it's a very light gray, is really making this look smooth. And it's really giving this hair a nice dimension. Yeah. I don't know if you can see the difference, but here's where I put the gray and here's where I haven't put it yet. 
but it's really picking up the colors beautifully. And I hope you can see how rich this is coming out. And I know that you guys have had a question about putting um, color on grayscale. But oh my gosh, guys, look at this. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at these hairs up at the top. Just beautiful. So if you don't think the color over a dark color doesn't do anything, you are seeing that that's a wrong or that's a misconception. The richness is just gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. All right, but wait, there's more. Hang in with me a little longer, Sandra. All right, now I'm going to get a medium gray. Yeah. And I'll bring you in. Everybody see how that's looking. Oh, okay. All right, Maribel. Let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. 
All right, Maribel, what you need to do is to request to join the broadcast. So along the bottom there, you should see some buttons and it should be some little uh, like little stick figures on the bottom and you want to request to join the broadcast so click on that with your mouse okay You see along the bottom, there's like a plus and then a little wand and a camera and then two little stick figures. Okay, so I'm using my medium gray. And I'm going through now and I'm highlighting all my spots here that lend itself to that darker gray, all right? I'm not even on my darkest gray yet. Sit tight, guys, a second. Just bear with me.
Okay. Thank you for your patience, guys. We're trying to get Maribel on. All right, so I've got my medium gray. And I'm going through and make sure that when you color, okay, come into the room itself. Hold on, guys. All right, everybody see now how this gray is starting to really look dimensional. See that? Now, be very careful that you don't get streaky, right? And Sandra, I'm just going to do this right side again so that we can hit the sack. Everybody see how that's starting to get a really nice dimension on it. And again, notice I'm not using black, right? All right. Does everybody see how that right hand side is looking really dimensional? This is just my medium gray, guys. Let's see here. And if you feel like it's getting a little streaky, all you have to do is just start closing off those streaks. Again, I'm just using my medium gray right now. All right, now let me grab my darkest gray. So I've got my, look, I've got a light, a medium, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and get a darker or darkest gray. And again, notice I'm not using black. And now I'm going to go in with my black.
All right, hold on. I think we're going to get Maribel. Hold on. Sit tight. Ah! Give me a second, guys. All right, so now what you want to do is now we've got this darker gray. Watch this. And if you notice now is around this tree, tree, plant, I'm going to come in with my darkest color. And then I'm going to bring that out into the hair. Now you got to be careful that you don't get it to be, you don't, that it's not splotchy. And then you can go ahead and color in with your darkest gray whatever you want to extend. Everybody sees it? Oh, I see you, Maribel. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can get you. Are you on your phone or on your computer? Sandra, good night. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop coloring for the moment. And we're going to try and get Maribel on. So Sandra, good night. Thank you so much for being here. And everybody else, if you want to sit tight for a minute, we'll try and get this resolved. Okay, Maribel, um, is there anything in the room along the bottom that gives you the option that says uh, request, request to come on camera? Actually, it's kind of funny because we had a lady that kept accidentally pushing that button and she would periodically request to come on camera. Oh, let me see if I can invite you, sweetie. 
All right, guys, I'm going to stop coloring so we can try and resolve this. So if you guys want to stay, that's fine. Please do. And this is what we've been coloring tonight with the hair and the three grays. All right. So let me see. If we can get you, Maribel. Lila, I'm glad you like it. Hi, Melba. Okay, Maribel. Let's do this. Go out of the room on your computer and then come back in. Melba just came in and she let me, there was a little thing at the bottom that said, invite her on camp, you know, invite her to come in. Hi, Melba. We're just trying to get Maribel on camera. And I'm going to keep coloring a little bit until we get this resolved with Maribel. If it helps, yours is a green icon of a person with a picture icon in front of it right next to the text box. Okay. Let's see if she sees that.
Great. Sit tight, Ashley. And Ashley, this is to the right. Yeah, to the right. Okay. So I'm thinking, Ashley, if she goes out of the room and then comes back in, because when Melba came in, it gave me the option to bring her right on camera. Okay, so what we need to do, I'm using my medium gray now, and I'm backing up that color into my black to make sure that we don't have any wonky transitions. Everybody see that? So I've gone back now to my medium gray and I'm back blending that into my dark. So yes, to a degree you can blend. And in fact, what's actually working out better is instead of going with a super dark color, I'm just gonna stay with my medium And I'm just gonna do multiple strokes over the area that I want very, very dark. That's, that's working better than just bringing in a dark gray. Everybody see that? So scratch the very dark gray. Just repeat stroke with your medium gray. Oh man, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yep, it's working better, Lila.
And you notice how I made streaks in the hair? To make that look realistic. And I really hope you guys can see how beautiful and dramatic this is looking. All right. Zoom out. <laughs> All right, let's work on this patch right here. And again, I'm gonna do multiple strokes near the top. And I'm just going to bring this down. I mean, the strokes on this, along with this paper and the marker, are absolutely gorgeous, guys. So between the two, it's just really making a huge difference. And I'm just touching lighter and lighter as I'm going down the hair. Everybody see that? Oh, beautiful. All right, let me pull out. And again, I'm just pressing or touching, I should say, lighter and lighter with my marker as I'm coming down to the end of the piece. So it really is working out beautifully. And that's just getting used to the feel of your markers, guys. I'm just, I'm just swiping it just very gently for lack of a better word. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go ahead, and this is my medium gray, guys. I'm going to work my darkest hair towards the head. and then bring it down. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can see this. Now, this hair is a little streakier than what I'd like to see, and that is a quick fix. Any light spot that I'm not comfortable with, I'm just hitting it with my medium gray. Very, very lightly. All right, see this one long piece right here? That really looks out of place. So let's go ahead and fix that.
Everybody see now how I'm just going over there gray? And again, I promise you, my marker is like barely touching. Beautiful. Black hair, Lila, is not really black. <laughs> it's actually shades of blue and gray. And again, guys, I can't emphasize enough, I am hardly touching my page. <clears throat> and look how much better this side looks. It's not so streaky, right? But it's dimensional. And that's the really cool thing that you're seeing. So now as I'm working this at the bottom, same principle. Now we've got some light hair over here and we may wanna keep that. Let's see how that looks. Lila, see how beautifully this is coming out as I'm making these streaks on some of these tendrils? All right, let me pull out. Beautiful. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead with my medium gray and touch up some of these in-between areas on this side. It's 
same thing that I did on the right. Now, I love this strand right here, so I'm not going to darken that. Let's see. Yeah, I'm happy with this side. I'm going to leave well enough alone. Now, I've got one little spot that's bothering me, and that's these hair pieces right here that are coming out right up there. So I'm going to go ahead and let me bring it in. Yeah, we're better. Guys, don't be afraid to adjust. All right. Let me pull you out. What do you think? But wait, there's more. <laughs> Oh my. Am I driving you nuts, Lila? Now, let's say that you were coloring this and you wanted to gain back some of your highlights because you screwed that up. So, what you can do Watch this. What you can do is take a white Prismacolor And you can go over some of these areas that you want to lighten up. So, right in here, if we want to lighten that up a little bit. Notice that I'm also blending it with my finger. Thank you, Kim. Everybody see what I'm doing with this white pencil? Yeah, I just saw that. Yep, yep, yep.
It never got colored. Thank you. And take your finger and you can just hit it, right? Does everybody see how I'm adjusting that now? And there are all sorts of things that you can do with this if you really wanted to play around with it. Everybody see how I can add these highlights back in? Yeah, exactly. It's like adding shine to her hair. Now, don't get crazy with it. There you go. So, you know me, I'm going to tweak that a little. And if you think you've added too much white, you can go back and put your gray back in there. Oh, Lila, you're welcome. Anybody have any questions before I pop off? I'm still not 100% happy with this. I think we got a little... Let me, let me play with one thing here before you go. I just felt that this is getting a little too streaky again. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit that a little bit with, with this darker gray. It's my medium gray, actually. There we go. Oh my gosh, much better. Oh, I love it. <clears throat> And what I'm going to do is tonight when I come back on, I'm going to do a couple extra things. I'm going to shadow this butterfly a little better. And I'll do something with the background. Gigi, welcome.
I think we're good right now because I'm, I'd be playing with this all night. It is all night. <laughs> Not really. Anybody have any questions before I sign off? So again, this is Wild Soul. And this is the piece we've been working on. Yeah, you're, Lila, you're an hour ahead of me. Move that out of the way. I am very happy with this. And like I said, I'll do something with the background. I'm going to shadow the, the butterfly a little more. So I'll do that next broadcast. All right, guys, this is Eileen Vick for Teaching About Coloring with Eileen Vick. We have been working on Wild Soul. I hope everybody had a good time. We basically almost finished it. Had a marathon session. I hope somebody learned something and I hope you had fun. I am calling it an evening. Kim, good night. Lila, good night. You're welcome. Tell your friends. Jody, hello. Oh, Australia. All right, guys, joyous, joyous coloring. Thank you so much. Tell your friends about our group. <laughs> and that we're going to have a guest author next week <laughs> on Saturday. All right, guys, love ya. Take care. Bye.